Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the fastest growing music YouTube channel today, Drum Dummy TV, and I'm your host, King Drum Dummy. And today, we got to talk about a legendary person, legendary producer, very great musician. I'm talking about the one and only Lil John, one of my favorite producers. Let's jump right into it. Drum Dummy. So unless you've been living up on a rock, I'm pretty sure everybody know who Lil John is. He's known for hits like Lovers and Friends by Usher and Ludacris, Get Low, Lil John, Yin Yang Twins, Shots, Sierra, Goodies, Petey Pablo, Freak Elite, and he's widely known by his ad libs, which is yeah. And what? And okay. So I guess y'all know who I'm talking about now. Yeah, let's let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Today, I just want to share a light on what I always spoke on about Lil Jon. And that's the simplicity of his beats. But also, he always add one element to his beats that just set it apart from everything else. So if we go back in time, when other people was copying his sound, they couldn't do his beats because they never added that one element. And his one element was always either live acoustic, live electric, or live bass guitar. He always used that. And nobody grasped the concept of that. People may have copied his sound with using the sign lead or whatever like that, but when it came to adding the live side of musicianship, people just couldn't do it. They couldn't do it like him. And even if you think about it, like the song Freak Leak by Petey Pablo, which many of us have heard. If you haven't heard it, you're probably just too young or too naive to know about it. I got a mock set up right here as you can see for example and look at how simple the drum pattern is in today's time we don't get away with doing nothing this simple look at the simplicity of this let's just play it literally that's all it is the song doesn't even have a hi-hat in it that's crazy that's crazy. The song does not have a hi-hat. So if we keep going into it, though, let's just take this lead, for example. So we got that part of the beat laid out. That That's just simple, though. So what LeJohn always used to do was he'll bring in a live guitar player. And, like, literally, it literally blew my mind for years. Like, when I unpacked the layers of the beat, it, it just bothered me. Like, this chord... It always set that beat off to me, like. Let's just lay that down, just so you can see what I'm talking about. Then he come back with this. I think that alone just set him apart so much because what that chord did was add a R&B feel to that beat. So it was for like, once you in the club and you listening to that and you got a whole crunk feeling on one side and then you got a whole R&B element to that beat, it's just such a vibe. It's, it's groovy, it's smooth, but it still got high energy. I mean, it just turned it from what could have been a regular crunk song to something that's like, you can play at cookouts, weddings, anything. Like we gotta understand just how much power chords actually hold and how much they can actually shape a beat and make something timeless versus something that's just all right. And the last thing I think he added was, he was very well known for his sign lead and he always used to have a lot of glide on him. But on this particular record, I don't think he really used the glide like that. I think he kind of left it basically regular and just went from there with it. But it's so effective, man. Like, the man didn't have that many sounds in the beat. It came out to be a timeless hit, but that's because of three different things that it had. It had bounce. That's groovy. You can groove to that. It had energy. And it had soul. And this just a mop, but if you go listen to the real song, you'll understand why that song was so good. So even if you take records like Shorty Wanna Ride With Me, it had nice drum pattern, energetic guitars, and still like a a very soulful effect. Just go listen to all of Lil John's music, and I want you to try to point out the one element that he brought to it that always made it a hit. 
And I can guarantee you, you will learn to appreciate his production more and more every time you hear it. Because the one thing that people always said about Lil Jon when they don't put him in the top, they always say he was too simple. But if you go back and listen to all his classics and you unpack each song, it was simple. But he had the main ingredients needed to make a hit. He had everything for the feeling that you need to make a song. And guys, now that we got to the end of this video, I just want to tell each and every one of you, I appreciate y'all. Y'all been liking, commenting, subscribing, just running the channel up. Like I said, we the fastest growing YouTube in the world right now, dog. Like, we really going up, for real. And if y'all like this segment that I'm doing by paying homage to producers and, and basically just deconstructing, showing you why I think that they're great producers and what make their production great, just let me know who y'all want me to cover next. As always, Drum Dummy Gang, we out.